Greetings. Today, a week ago, God met us in Bali. Many of you uh, have uh, written an email to me and shared how the Youth Congress in Bali have significantly shaped and impacted your focus and direction in life. I will continue to pray that God will strengthen you and empower you to fulfill your new destiny in nurturing the next generation for Him. Since we left Bali, we have been shocked and saddened by the earthquake in Nepal. I would like to encourage you to pray for our brothers and sisters in Nepal and do whatever you, you can to help strengthen the church so that she can respond appropriately to the needs of the people and nation of Nepal. At this opportunity, I would like to encourage you to do three things. One, take a few minutes to reflect on your time in Bali. Write down the name of the people that you have engaged with and experience it that God has entrusted to you. Give thanks for those people, pray for those names, and be a good guardian for the truth that God has revealed to you. Secondly, you remember the last day uh, in Bali where you wrote down your commitments to further and accelerate uh, the nurture movement? If you have, uh, have done anything to fulfill those commitments, praise the Lord. If you have not done anything to fulfill those commitments, I would like to encourage you to start doing something today. Thirdly, you can uh, flame the fire within you by sharing to others and with others the concept of the nurturer, the disciple making 3.0, the no plan B. How many people have heard from you and impacted by your experience in Bali? Have you downloaded uh, the uh, no plan B, the audio book, the e-book? Have you forwarded those links to other peoples. As you remember, our goals is to engage at least 500,000 people in the next year or so, that they will read and hear the book and the concept and be part of this movement. Finally, be assured of all my prayers for each one of you, that the Lord will continue grant His favor as you nurture the next generation for Him. God bless you.